what is happening guys blizzard raptor here and welcome back to elden ring what have we got for you today so we're in the mountain top of the giants if you guys watched the end of the last episode you'll know that i was having some serious problems getting anywhere after completing the earth tree capital was struggling to get just across the bridge. I died a couple of times to the knights that are here. I died to the twins that are guarding this, and it's just a ball ache. Um, so we've done all the crappy stuff. So now we get to do the good stuff and explore. That's what we're going to do. So as you can see, we're rocking crucible armor. We're rocking a single sword try to what's the word I'm looking for I've tried to make it so that I'm not fat rolling we went for a single sword build because of that although I'm debating changing to a two sword build depends on the damage that I do here in terms of level I'm 155 I'm past what's considered the souls meta but I don't care Okay. Ouch. Okay, that missed. These guys do a lot of damage. I mean, so do I. They have a bigger health pool, though, by the looks of things. That's not bad. So it's a bit of a tougher area. We're going to take a little bit more of a beating here, but let's have a look around and see what we can find. I hear a uh, scarab in that direction, so we'll go for that a little bit later. They're getting cured meat, excellent. Oops. One thing I should probably do. Do I have anything that specifically... You know, I've got them. Oh, wait a minute. It's equipment I want to be in. Whoops. I mean, there's nothing here that I'd really want to... You know what? Forget. I was thinking, you know, protection against frost might be quite useful here, but. Uh, it's not that great. You never know. Sometimes they might be secret walls. There's nothing really here. We've got one. There are two of these guys in this area. Hey! In case you're one. Ah, oh, right, no, 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 no. You can't fight two of them, David. You can't fight two of them. But we're going to try and do it, <laughs> apparently. And after that, we are not going to bother. <clears throat> I do not think there's any way that I can fight multiple versions of those guys. They are pretty hard hitting. And I'm not, sadly. 
I've also just about got enough souls for, uh, eh, souls, I've done it again. Enough runes for a... Again, with the two. I think I might have to put fire onto the greatsword and is that the other one again? oh you know what? <laughs> I don't know how he knows he seems this must be linked they must be supposed to come as a duo because that's that's ridiculous and disgusting at the same time. They seem to know when the other's being attacked and come to help. I'm dead if it hits me again. That's why it's pressing the attack rather than dodging away. Oh! Don't be deceived. Do not be deceived. I know that looked a little bit simple, but the reason for that was the AI was clever enough to know that I was almost dead and it pressed an advantage that it didn't get. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Ashes of War the Greatsword with Flame. Ashes of War. It is. And I'd like to put that on it. Don't really have faith in the See how that gets on. The damage may not be as high, but what I'm hoping for is that a combination of both the weapon art and the fact that the swords infuse with fire will add damage to these guys. If it doesn't, this area is going to be a bit of a volley to explore. It does seem to do a bit more damage. Let's see what the weapon art does. Yeah. Yeah, that's the... That's the, the way to go for this, I think. So, yeah, having a flame weapon for this section. So, I really need to... Levels the sort of greater uh, 23. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll need some eights for this thing. Oh, we've got some texture issues here. Sorry. So we've got one of them there. My fire pots might help here, of course. Really need to make better use of my tools. Yeah, the f having the flames on the sword really does help. Whoa! Jump. Drink. No, drink, 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 drink. No, that's went badly. That'll do. There we go. I 
I never leveled up after all <laughs> the last time. Uh, oh well. These guys seem to be worth a fair bit of runes as well, and there's one that seems to be worth more than the rest. It, that branches out in a cone as well, so make sure if you're going to jump it, you're close to where they are. That is the best way to avoid that, is jumping over it. 200,000 runes and a level. <laughs> well, two levels. No, a level. That'd be ridiculous, David. It would take like 300,000 to get you two levels. So there's two there. There's this central chapel here. I don't really want to fight them if I don't have to as well. If I can avoid them, I will. Inside the chapel is an item. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do try to mute my mic, but... Ooh, Zamora Ice Storm. Cool. Oh, I've done this. I've done this. That's another thing I should have mentioned. Off camera. So before I started recording today's episode, I did want to improve my... In fact, did I? Sure I did. Give me a second, I'm just going to make sure I haven't just booped. Oh no, I mustn't have. Oh well, here we go. This is what I should have come in here and got. You know what it was? I came in here and did it as my other character so that I could improve his gear ahead of the live streams. Yeah, whoops. Whoop. Oh, just... Excuse me, guys. I will not be with you at all. So I was just about to tell a fib to you guys there, and then I would have ended up without the gear that I wanted. So that miner's bell bearing for the smithing stones that you've just seen there is... Gives me access to levels 5 and 6 on my... Twin Maiden Husks. So when I go visit the Twin Maiden Husks, they'll have levels 5 and 6 for the Smith and Stones. By this point in the game, you should be probably near your meta if you're interested in the pvp aspect of elden ring by the time you get to mountain top of the giants you probably want to be between 130 and 140 so getting close to the 150 well, meta where have you been hiding i took you for no matter it's all to stay out your arms then i'm gonna uh, i need eights i need three smith and stone level eights and they're tough to find at the moment. Uh, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? I actually like the Crucible Axe armor more than I like the Crucible Tree armor. So I can now get one, two, three, four, five, and six there, and I've got one, two, three, four here. Which is excellent. It means that I can improve the variety of weapons that I have access to. We've got this greatsword, which we'll leave as a fire greatsword. We've got the fully upgraded grafted blade. Ideally, just want to use things that I don't have to spec other points in. You see, all of these greatswords have faith or intelligence requirements. The Gargoyle's Greatsword doesn't, however. And it has Vacuum Slice built into it. Knight's Greatsword's supposed to be pretty good as well. 
obviously there's great axes. Some of these have dex requirements that we don't meet as well. That's just a bog standard great axe. Which I might imbue with frost. To give me another elemental option. So back we go. So the Zamor ruins are here. Doesn't look like they really go anywhere. It looks like I'm either heading this way or this way. But either way, let's go back. I keep doing that. I keep forgetting that fast travels in this menu and yada yada yada. yada. Shabriri is not a character that's important to my guy either. I know he possesses a katana that I want. Those really are problematic shadows, aren't they? Where the textures and the polygons, the lighting hasn't loaded in properly. Yeah, Shibiri seems to be linked with Frenzy. Yeah, his speech is linked to like, the chaos consume the world, flame of frenzy type stuff, so yeah. Not interested in that for this character. You still hear that. Stronger up there. So what I'm after will probably be up there as well. Looks like there's going to be a cave. Ouch! Ah, these will be Stormhawks, I take it, are they? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty nimble for a big guy. Right. So where was our iris? And that is sending me where? Up there. Okay, look. Caves are good. Caves have treasures, whether the treasures are ashes or unique artifacts. Catacombs, obviously there's different types, you know, catacombs, etc. I'm after is hanging from that tree down there. Ah, I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. I don't really have a ranged option as this guy. I probably should just stick a crossbow in his hand. I don't know if I started leveling one up for him. I had always meant to. I did. Crepuses, but I don't have the decks for it. Oh no, the ballista. There we go. That'll do. Sure, I have heavy ballista bolts. I do. I've got bone, bone ballista bolts. So what we want here, then? In fact, what we want is to be back down there. Don't need that on just now. As a mounted weapon, as well, the great sword's fantastic because that move there can usually send your opponents into there, which gives you time to dismount. There we go. And oh, no, you don't. Good try. Somber Smith and Stone level 7, that's good. There are other unique great swords in the game, I believe I may have missed some. 
There are a couple I really want to try though. I'm really excited by that. I think there's a black blade somewhere that belongs to the... You could shoot it down from there, but you would then have to try and go down to finish it. You'd be tempted to jump down and kill it, so... Yeah. Interesting trap. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. So, this gives you a clearer view of... So, the Zamor Ruins, your first big test in this area. If you find yourself dying really easily, you're probably under-leveled. I think you'll get away with... Like status, you'll get away with level 130 to 140. I don't think you need to be in tier 150 by now. Obviously, if you're not limiting yourself to the PvP meta, feel free to keep grinding your points as long as you're not just spending your points willy nilly, keep putting them into. So, in my case, I've got 55 vigor, 50 endurance, 73 strength. And I've got enough dexterity to wield the weapons that I want to wield just now. The strength is now going up. Once it hits 80, I probably won't bother putting any more points into it because I think 80 is a hard cap. After that, points you put in either won't... Like, you'll only get a point of damage every, like, three points you put into it. So it's just not worth it after that. I'll start cranking... I'll probably crank... Once I've got strength up to 80, I'll probably crank Vigor up to 60 and then I'll start putting points of endurance some more so that I can increase the weight of the armor I want to wear. I found out that I can't get the armor that I want for this guy. It's a lot of the armors that I wanted to try out, I've locked myself out of by completing the Volcano Mana, which sucks because there was some really cool ones that I wanted to, to try out. I was looking forward to trying out the Blood Wolf or whatever it's called, Raging Wolf set I think it is, um, and the Ram set, the Great Ram set for, that horned Tragoth, one of the summons that you can bring in in, one of the summons you can bring in when you're fighting Radan, a lot of those named guys are storied heroes from this world that you can then summon in. I like this little section, it looks quite cool. There's something here though, did I just completely ignore that or was I not able to get up high enough? Is that how I'm going to get up to it this way? I'll go this way and find out. Where was I? Yeah, sorry. I was... I get distracted very easily. Uh, Great Horn, Tragoth, Lionel the Lionhearted, all those kind of guys that you can summon in are characters who are already established in the lore of this game. These guys are, strangely enough, not fireproof, despite the fact that they're fire monks. Fair dues. I'm pretty sure there's stuff up there. I don't think I can get up there, though. But it's fine. It's all good. We'll just continue making our way on. So, yeah, so as I was saying, the Great Horn Tragoth's armor is called the Ra I'm sure it's called the Raging Bull Armor. Or the, the Great Bull Armor. Or Great Horned Armor. And that lets you... That's probably the tankiest armor. It's probably the heaviest armor set you can get in this game. Without a doubt. I've got... Lionel the Lionhearted set from when I beat him as one of Thea's deathbed champions but ooh Briars of Punishment that's awesome I think that's an arcane magic that's like sends out thorns how did I know I was not going to like you oh you're resistant you are resistant to fire right okay no, no, please no. I don't want to fight you. And this is why I should have had two different weapons ready. 
Run away, run away, run away! I think he might be a persistent enemy. Looks like it. That means he might be willing to follow me all the way back. No, it looks like he did have a, a limit. Okay. Don't know if I can if I've got enough endurance. No, that's a heavy load. Although I do now have this. Yes, I can. There we go. So I can have options like that. So it won't matter that he's invulnerable to fire with this sword because this is not a. Flaming sword that I here we go. So I do have options now, which is good. I like to have options. We'll grab that item just now as well. Once I've dealt with. So the outright damage on this, the, out, the actual outright damage on this sword is less because I saw figures like 929 when I hit the guys with this one. I don't know if that's because it's linked to fire. I'll keep the Sword of Morn on just now, but because it's one of the earliest colossal greatswords you can get, I don't think it's going to be an end game weapon. Like, I've got it up as high as it goes, and it's scaling as B in strength. I'd ideally like an A scaling, or even better, an S scaling weapon. I've got a funny feeling that the Sword of Ruin is... Or the Ruin's Greatsword is going to have... Better scaling in strength, but it needs intelligence. And again, I'm not bothered about some eerie fairy meta. I don't care about meeting other players in PvP because, to me, the, the, the PvP, I'm not good at PvP. I'd rather leave that to people that are brilliant, uh, like Sunlight Blade and Lobos Jr. Fighting Cowboy. You know, all these guys that actually have talent when it comes to PvP. I'm not a duelist, so yeah. Enjoy what you enjoy. I just like the PvE element. There's an item down to my left I can see. Kind of knew that one was coming, I could see him. Yes! I think that might have been a mistake. Oh, no it wasn't. Okay. Gonna get this one as well. This, this might be the mistake. So I think if he hits me here, he'll send me off the edge. Woo! Got, got lucky and rolled through that. I can get in here. Yeah, there we go. So we've shot off his angle, so that, that could make it quite tense, you might be tempted to panic rolling along there. You just have to make sure that you're moving forward if you're going to roll and try and roll through the arrow. We'll see what effect this has on his ankle. Bearing in mind it's a fiery greatsword, it may not be the best weapon for shooting his ankles. Oh no, 1200. That too is also really good, although I don't think I can get round in time. I can't, indeed. Oh well. That was a... Uh, Great. 
This might be his fire breath coming. No. He is actually going to try and shoot me with an arrow at close range. Well, I think if he tried the fire breath, he might have had me. I don't think I could get anywhere really to get away from him, but fair enough. Here we are. Golden Rune, level 13. More currency in the bank. section that I'm looking for is coming up on my left. It's over there, I think. Again, I'm just enjoying exploring this area as well. Not sure what that is. I think that might actually be either a material or... Of course, I've taken it off just now because I wanted the... Yes! Somebody! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. I've already got one of the... Ancient Dragon Somber Smithing Stones for this playthrough. each new game cycle so this is technically new game one or new game rather this is this is called new game so it's the first time you start up elden ring and play through it that's new game then your second playthrough is new game plus one and then you just add the digit on each time enemies stop scaling after a certain amount of time and you it is possible to play enough new game cycles to boost your character to max level I believe that's level 713, where all of your attributes are up at 99. I am not that much of a grind merchant that I would be willing to do that. <laughs> I think it might be cool to try. Soft cotton to protect you from fall damage. I think that's my way up there. Making sure I haven't missed anything obvious. I think I missed a cave back the way. The cave that the crone was telling me to go to. So I will probably have to teleport back at some point. But right now I'm, I'm just keen to sort of push into this area and see. Apologies again for the shadows. It's the shadows. There's some serious problem with the shadows on this. Mine seems to be okay. But the shadows that are meant to be coming off the plants you can see. Yeah, it's not my PS5, because that's still in really good nick. I think it might just be a bug, and it'll get ironed out, so I'm not I'm not that much of a bitch that I'm going to moan about it, let's put it that way. So, I mean, given everything else this game has given to me so far, the amount of content that I'm getting out of it. I'm not a build crafter either, the two builds I've got are fairly simple. For builds I would recommend Fextra Life or Fighting Cowboy. There are a few other good ones out there as well though, CRPG Bro, also another good one. We will rest. Don't think I've got enough to level up, no. Nice try. We'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly? No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again in battle. Should you have the need. I like. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion. That allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed. I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halig tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. Okay. I'm searching for a I heard the mark. I saw Erin play the fort earlier, so I've been trying to avoid 
spoilers for new areas while Erin's playing. So Erin was playing through the mountain top of the Giants earlier today and she found that fort and I, I know I saw flashes of the battle that she had with the fort's commander but I like I said because I was trying to avoid spoilers so I, I, it's going to be newish to me I know there's a boss in the fort but I don't know anything about him I don't know his attack patterns I don't know what he does so that'll be interesting to do I, I don't know exactly where the fort is either I know it's I think it's this here giant footsteps that's amazing it's the mountain top of the giants after all so I think I'm going to be able to go up river here which will let me do the volcano manor request now I'm really excited about this one I know a bit about this, so that... Oh, it's one of them guys. We'll go smash his ankles, I think. I know a bit about the Hounslow, the Juno Hounslow request. He uses the Petal Whip, which basically looks like the Chain Whip from the Castlevania series. So it, if you want to do a Rector Belmont playthrough, Again, you've got to be quick for this. I wasn't. That was crap. So. Oh, I was away from that by a mile. Now he's going to walk backwards while spewing fire. I think I'm just going to stay here and smash his ankles. I saw the sweep coming, but I couldn't get out of the way. I was stuck in the animation for it, for the attacks I was doing. There we go. And that's what we wanted out of that. So that's awesome. That got rid of him. And we'll make our way up river, like I say. We're looking for the Juno Hounslow. So yeah, I'm quite excited to see how the Petal Whip works. Um, that's going to be awesome, I think. Burn, bitch. Oh, dear. The big guy's in the rock. See what I mean about bugs? No game is immune to them. Some games just have more than others. To be fair, Elden Ring is less buggy than some of the other From Software titles that have been released. Is it that way past those? Yeah, it is, I think. So as you can see, there's a fight going on there. There's a fight going on here as well. You'll come across a lot of these fights randomly as you're making your way through the lands between. Here it is here. So, now Juno Hounslow could be a problem. Just giving you the Hounslow's off.
Let my stamina come back up. This is very much like being like fighting a, a an invader. So he can just outrange me. I'm not gonna take any chances. But I have. Oh there we go. And that's Juno Hounslow defeated. Now I don't know what that will if I will get any benefit from that. Because like I say, I should have. Let's pet a whip helm. I should have gotten that when I was doing the Volcano Manor quest line. Travelling Maiden set. Okie doke. Something on top of this pile. Maybe a couple of things. These might just be ruined fragments, of course, because they're at the bottom of this. Oh no, Smith and Stone level 7. Cool. Need some eights. If any of you have got any, warming stone and invigorating white cured meat. So, that's because things are dying over there. Um, there's a torrent spectral leap here. So going round this way, the way that I'm facing just now doesn't look like it goes in. It looks like it's a dead end, but I just want to see what's at the dead end. Katrina's Lily. Oh, it's not so dead a dead end. So that can go along here, and that gets us to the fort, that gets us to the tree, right. But there's a ruin here. Okay. Have a wander and a look around while I'm here. Time is 43 minutes in, so we've got a, a few minutes to have a look around here in the Stargazer's ruins. Nice try. I heard that vampires don't like fire. Seems to be true. I should really go back to Volcano Manor, but I don't think it'll do anything. I don't think I can advance Dialos's quest anymore now that I've beaten Rikard. I suppose we could try. I don't really want to leave here when I don't have... I do have a grace across this side. Okay, you know what, let's go back to Volcano Manor since we've only got a few minutes left. Decision made. There's no NPCs here, so... so. Tanith is still gone. The Alice isn't here. There's a letter on the table though. The Taker's cameo. The Taker's cameo does what? Stores HP upon defeating enemies. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that might actually be better on here than one that restores FP. Lord of Blood Exaltation. Okay. So 
So it was worth coming back in a way. In another way it wasn't. Is Ray uh, gonna be gone? Yeah, it looks like it. So it looks like everybody just cleared out. Which does suck a little. That's what it is. Can't do anything about that. So with that, we are getting closer and closer to the end. Getting closer and closer to having to make a decision, which I assume I'll have to make shortly. Still this whole top corner of the map to go, but I think out of in terms of explorable territory, we're going to have something in here. Definitely something in here where the cloud is. And I think that might be it. So the area is not as large as you think it's going to be. Let us find out in the next episode. We will go back around, back up, we will properly explore the Stargazer's ruins, cross this bridge, beat the air tree guardian, because that's going to be a minor air tree there. So we'll beat the air tree guardian, guardian there and get the tears, and then we will knock out the fort as well. There should be enough time in these episodes to do all three. So thanks for sticking with me guys, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, I am having a real blast playing this game, it's good fun. Hulk smash. <laughs> I'll see you all for the next episode, bye for now.